alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana for our main event of the evening. Five rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. And his opponent across the ring. His professional record consists of 43 wins with 28 knockouts and 10 defeats. Fighting out of Atlanta, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. now underway all the talk is done it is simply time to fight great movement to get away from those punches oh that's gotta hurt down he goes in the early goings here down for the first time tonight, but you can see he's ready to make up for it here. Yeah, just a little bit of water in the basement, not a full flood, but if he doesn't want those pipes to burst, he better figure out quick why he got dropped. What a hook by Muhammad Ali. Good fast jab from Holyfield. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Piercing jabs. Vander Holyfield's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's laying the power punch early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. He's punching away even though he's been stunned. Crashes home with the uppercut. Evander Holyfield's crushed by that shot to the head. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changed? They can't both keep this up. That right hand over the top lands flush. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He scores with the jab. And now he scores with that left to the body. Evander Holyfield wondering what hit him. A huge counterpunch came back at him. Flush right hand to the head. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Evander Holyfield's got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Oh, now breathe deep. Inhale. Inhale. That's good. And you're fighting his game plan. Box intelligently. Come on now. Now you're more intelligent than he is. Let's go. Let's go. A new round underway here. Holyfield's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. 
See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Nice. There's the combo downstairs. What a crushing blow. Ali's hurt by a big shot. Keep moving. Get out there. What a big shot. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Just keep working the body. Keep working the body. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Evander Holyfield. Ali's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponents cooperating with him a little bit because he right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Evander Holyfield's hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. A well-placed left hand up top. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. And now he's targeting upstairs. Evander Holyfield's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Good job, good job, Jamie. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they'd be snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. Don't stand toe to toe with this guy. You gotta keep your distance, all right? There you go. All right. Listen, you need to create more counters, okay? Flip this punch and throw it straight right down the middle. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Wow, is he defensively sound. Go! Go! He comes with a straight right hand. Ali with a big left. Good job. Huge right hand from Holyfield. Evander Holyfield's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Ali's sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. Good. Do one more time. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, 
coming to the halfway point of this third round. Locks away that headshot. Scores big with the hook to the head. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Evander Holyfield. This deep into the fight, and they're both like runaway trains, non-stop. They're finding out things that they never knew about each other. Evander Holyfield's crushed by a right hand. Focus. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Muhammad Ali. Locks a shot and pulls the trigger. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You don't need to be on the inside. Ali's right hand scores well. And now he's targeting upstairs. I don't want you to slug it out, this guy, right? Keep your range and then jab, jab, right, okay? All right, breathe, deep breath, deep breath. Get some more. You good? You all right? Now breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you, so tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. Next round underway, it's been a good one throughout. He just missed that shot up top. Good right hand. Right to the belt line. Good defensive guard now by Evander Holyfield. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Muhammad Ali. A solid uppercut by Muhammad Ali. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Hits him in the mug with the right. A solid true uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Good work defensively by Evander Holyfield. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him. And then he timed him beautifully. Evander Holyfield's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been... Big shot there. Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Evander Holyfield's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Ali hooks and scores. And he just holds on there. Muhammad Ali with a big shot there. How about that left hand? Evander Holyfield snapping out that jab. Little head hunting with the left. Circle hit, move, move! Nice strike after catching. There it is! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Two, three, four, five. 
Holyfield's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Good shot to the head with that right hand. End of the round here. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like in other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box, you hear them every once in a while, saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. We have reached the final round. Round five is underway. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Solid right by Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield's been able to hit that target with that straight punch consistently all night long. Yeah, and he's gotten a little bit of help because his opponent starts leading with those wide shots and he steps right inside him, right into the eye of the storm. Accurate counter punch by Evander Holyfield. Ali's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He's tired. He's tired, Champ. Holyfield's oh, opponent knows exactly on, what the game champ. plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Good two punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Oh. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well placed right hand. Counter punch up top. A Vander Holyfield swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Rage, rage. Side to side, move your head. A smashing headshot by Muhammad Ali. Well placed hook from Ali. Ali's been stunned. Please, That's please. as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Evander Holyfield. And from long, did you see that? Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Ali beats the count, looks across the ring at his opponent, and you know that this is going to turn into a big-time fight now. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Not much action as he just ties up. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. There's a straight right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. A little head hunting with the right. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. So there's the final bell in a fight nobody thought they'd hear the final bell in. Well, it looked like Rock'em Sock'em Robots early on, but then all of a sudden, guess what? They started boxing. So a unanimous decision win by Evander Holyfield. And that's the way we saw it all 